Guess what, Beebots? I'm back and it's almost Halloween. Like most Halloween loving individuals, I checked out my local Walmart for some awesome props and costume ideas. And while I was there, I came across some pretty freakish looking little stuffies on a shelf. Guys, they're called Fugglers. This is literally why I picked them up off the shelf. When I short form this to Fug, it now sounds like a swear word. I promise you I am saying geez. There are no foul words within this video. However, if you're gonna insist that that's what you hear or you're a younger viewer or this isn't your type of humor, you might not want to watch this video because believe me, the puns are coming. They're gonna be so cheesy, so great, but they will sound like swear words. It's, it's unavoidable. So that being said, let's begin. Now that we've got that out of the way, I ended up picking up one of the bigger fugglers and two of the smaller. I'm pretty sure it's obvious if you understand me at all as to why I purchased these, but in case you're new here, I like weird things and these guys are freaking me out and their teeth are gah. So we're gonna check them out together. We're going to stabilize. There we go. Here is our red fuggler. He's super squinty and shifty, like he doesn't trust us. He looks like super sketched out. He's like, what are you looking at me for? What do you see? These are for ages four and up. They are funny, ugly monsters, and it says, adopt at your own risk. That's a warning. I don't know. I don't know if I want to adopt you. Well, obviously I do because I bought it, but you know. Anywho, so this is from Spin Master. This packaging, I really like it because it's simple. It's to the point. It gets the job done. Unlike me, because I have all the vocabulary to annoy you. <laughs> and on the back, adopt at your own risk. We have a generic spray painted little fuggler thing there and it says they're mischievous and misunderstood. And definitely do not go to fuggler.com. They don't want you to. Time to open. Open with caution. Should get some gloves and some tongs. I think I'm too lazy to be dramatic though. Ooh, ow. Look at that, nothing to it. Actually, every single thing in this package can be recycled, hooray! Wow, that was it. So great. I have opened it, so it's pretty basic. I don't know what it is though, because I don't see a name on the box anywhere or on the certificate, which here is what we get. So this is our mischievous misunderstood pet. There's a registration number here as well, which I've covered because I don't want you to take it from me. Anywho, um, the stitching is meant to look like it's super to the point because it makes it look creepier when you can see all those stitches. He's got felt covering his eyes, but if we look in here, the eyes are actually yellow. It changes the whole look of this little monster once you open up and show off his whole eyeball there. So now he looks like he doesn't trust us. Like, what's going on? But once you see those eyes, look, all of a sudden he's just a tired guy with big eyes. He actually looks like he's sick. He's like, whoa, I need a tissue. Here's his little nose. It actually looks like a dog nose, but this is the thing that caught my attention. It's the teeth and they gross me out because they look so real. I can't even open his mouth. Look, he's got buck teeth. They are yellowing teeth and they look and feel real. They're definitely plastic, you would hope, because otherwise, ew. I kind of feel like if I was the person making these and just attaching teeth to dolls all day, I would question my life choices. Wait, I forgot something. Under his daily has got a little button. It's really well attached too, so that's good. And it says Fuggler on it, which you can't see because it's too tiny. That's so cute. Uh, what are you gonna say this animal is? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Cat, squirrel, random animal number five. You be the judge. Stay shifty, little Fuggler. Up next, we've got this little Fuggler. So this one's the blue one with much grosser looking teeth. Super cool, he looks like he's a carny. Is that offensive to carnies? I don't know. Anyways, the packaging is the exact same, so we do not need to spend any time with it. We're just gonna go right into the opening. Boom, simple as that. Perfect. Fuggler number two, he also appears to have zero name or information as to what sort of creature he is, but he definitely does remind me of like a tool, a hammer. I'm gonna call him Rectangle Head. There's not much to see on his body. It's all felt, it's all blue. No tail, so we can't miss his little button this time. And uh, yeah, that's it. His teeth and eyes are really well attached and his mouth is missing quite a few teeth. Ah. Say ah, visit the dentist. Ah. His slip is the exact same as the first one. Guys, I have no fugs left to give. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I do have one left and I'm not giving it. It's for me. This is our giant fuggler. By giant, I'm probably thinking about 12, so yeah, 12 inches or so. So you figure it out. He's a bit bigger. It's harder to fit him in the frame, but the box is the same on the front. It's just bigger, but the back is different. The same stuff on it, just a different character, but be serious, Jen. It's hard to be serious. They're dorky looking. No, not dorky. What's the word I'm looking for? Ridiculous? <laughs> I don't know. There he is. And 
here is our little fuggler. Actually, he's bigger. I can't even get him to stand up. Ah, just, just sideways. There you go. Chillin'. I figured it out. He's got a bit more detail, as in more eyes. That's it. So he's got one gray large button and a pink small button, and then a green button as his eyes. His mouth, also super weird. Only top teeth. I didn't get any with bottom teeth. That's okay. Probably hide some stuff in there. He's pretty hungry. I wonder if their teeth do anything. Like, do they glow in the dark or anything? That'd be kind of cool. Anywho, so his body is generically, you know, felt. That's it. They're pretty simple for what they are. It's actually pretty decent. Where my fugs, where my fugs, where my fugs at? That was my man voice. I'm a rapper. I got three fugs chilling on the table. Don't know nothing. Rapper, I'm not able. <laughs> you ain't ever met a fug that's better than me. I'm the biggest, bluest fug living on this street. I don't ever take a shower. I don't need to brush my teeth. And that's the truest truth you'll ever hear about me. I got two other fugs living in my hood. I mean, they ain't the greatest, but I guess they kind of good. Got the sneaky little fugler here with creepy little eyes. Truth is, I can't trust her though. She's always telling Lies. And that fugler over there, he ain't never happy. I gave him some gum once because I said his breast smelled crappy. He didn't seem to like it much, so I gave that dude a hug. Because even though I'm big and bad, I'm still a decent fug. <laughs> oh my god, if you haven't turned this off yet, I am so sorry, but that was awesomely awful. <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun with these fugglers. I'm not even gonna lie. The creepiness and the weirdness and the simplicity is perfect. Um, I would definitely recommend giving these to somebody who likes strange and odd things in the form of teethy plush animal creatures question mark and of course you should pick some up yourself if you're into that strangeness as well if you know somebody who enjoys my videos uh, who you want to make fun of my sweet rap or you know all other good things please share this video with them and if you thought it was wacky and insane and weird yourself make sure you remember to comment like and subscribe so that uh, you don't miss all the other random stuff I do yes thank you for enjoying this edition of Jen's weird we'll see you next time bye fuck life <laughs>